Hello IHM. For this week's project, we're going to have a choice. We can either make this little lawnmower bicycle thing that's a little push mower and a bicycle. Well, it's kind of dangerous. You might not have that stuff lying around. I don't know about that. Or we can make this kayak. It's a skin-on frame kayak. It's made out of cedar and it's covered with Dacron aircraft fabric. And I think I've spent about like 60, 70 hours on that. Nah, that might be a little bit hard. Or we can make these little foam meat tray gliders. And these are just those little foam trays that are um, that, that hold meat when you buy it in the store um, or vegetables sometimes. This is probably the best choice, I'm thinking. Yeah. Okay, let's go into the garage and make some. Okay, so we're going to go over the tools and materials that we need for this project first. Um, the main thing is one of these foam trays that, that meat and vegetables come on. Um, you want to rinse it first. If it has chicken on it or whatever, you want to get all that off of there or it's going to get really gross. Um, so, so rinse it with soapy water, let it, let it dry. And one issue about it though is you can see that there's lots of different dimensions. Some have the sides that come up more than others, different thicknesses, colors. Um, I've made them out of this, this thicker kind. I haven't made one with the shallow sides and I kind of have doubt if that's going to work very well. This size um, looks pretty good. I've made some, some pretty good flyers out of, out of this and that's about eight and a half inches by by five and a half inches. But again, I've made some that are much bigger. This one's almost a foot across. Um, and, and these little guys are um, less than, than six inches across, a little over five and a half inches. So um, lots of different sizes will work. Here's one that has kind of wavy sides. And unfortunately, I don't think I can use this, this one because these wavy sides aren't gonna make very good little, little side um, fins. Uh, you could use the middle of this for making a, a rocket fins, though. I, I would I'll still save that for, for something. So we're going to make a, a glider out of, out of this one here. That's what we're going to work with. You also need some um, a penny, paper clip. You'll need some, some tape. Duct tape is best to work with. Not scotch tape. Any kind of tape will work, but probably not scotch tape. Um, electrical tape. Um, you'll need scissors, pliers and a straight edge, a, a ruler if you have it, um, pencil and rubber bands. I have some rubber bands over here too. So that's what you're going to need to, to make a, a meat tray glider. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, the first thing that we want to do is, is measure and mark our, our tray. And this is, this is probably the most important part because um, it has to be really pretty even or it's not going to, to fly well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure across the bottom and we can see that this is six and a half inches and I'm just going to go ahead and put a little a little mark and I'm just kind of guessing about where the um, where it rounds off where the flat part rounds off and then I'm going to find the middle of that six and a half, half of that is three and a quarter because the half of six is three and half of a half is a quarter so three and a quarter I'm not sure if the camera can see that I don't know if I'm too high I should turn the screen so I can see what I'm doing here yep okay and then up here we're gonna do the same the same thing I'm going to mark it on the corners at six and a half and this one at three and a quarter now again if you are using a different a different tray, you're going to have different numbers, right? This one is about seven and a quarter, so that's going to be like three and and five eighths or something. So, so again, they're all going to be a little bit different. This one's um, this one's about six and a half as, as well. So it's just going to depend on your on your tray. Now I'm going to mark the center line. This is really important that this is straight, and I'm not going to put it a deep line and I don't want to weaken the foam too much but I'm just going to put a line there and then I want to measure up from the bottom one inch and then I put a line right here at one inch and then from this mark over here I want to go down one inch and over here from this from this corner mark down one inch and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a diagonal going from here to here and here to here and then from here up to here. So I'm making this, this delta shape right here, this little chevron delta shape. 
So I'm going to take my straight edge and line it up like this and draw a line from that center mark that's up an inch from the middle. There we go. And then this one as well. There's my mark that's an inch down. I'm going from the center mark. I'm also looking to make sure that this looks parallel. Those two lines are about the same. And again to this mark right here, I don't know if the camera shows it, and right to that center line. Okay, so now I have, moving it to get different light here, um, so that we can see this line and this line and this line. And now I'm going to just cut it out with scissors. And the diagonal part that goes down like this, I just kind of have to eyeball it and look, see if I can line it up with a, with a camera. And I just have to kind of line it up like this and and just try to eyeball it as best I can. Am I in that shot? Yep, okay. Okay, and then the same with the front. Okay, and let's go right along like that. Okay, and that's the basic lighter right there. If you want, you can sand this. And I'm just going to, you don't have to, most of my I didn't, but I'm just going to take take the, the hard edge off of that where it's kind of chewed up. Again, this isn't required, but it'll do a little bit better if you, if you sand it lightly and smooth it out. Okay, so that didn't take very long. Okay, so there's the, the basic shape of the, of the glider. And this will, will work, except we need some elevators and we need some weight. That's the main thing that we need, and we're going to put a little hook on it as well. So now we want to mark where the, the elevators go. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up from the, the center here to the center here, and I'm just going to put a little mark right here. Then I'm going to go on this side as well and go over here and go on this side. And if you have a bigger, a bigger ruler, that's not going to matter. If I had a thicker one, um, that, would be, that would be okay. And now I'm just going to go put a little cut in here, and I'm going to make the cuts about the same, the same depth up. Okay? And what this does is it gives me a little, little elevator tab that I can bend up. I'm kind of squeezing it and pinching it and pulling it up. Okay, now we need a weight on it and a, um, and a paper clip to, to hook our, our launcher on. So it, what I've found is how much weight really depends on the size of the, the glider. This little tiny one, I initially made it with a penny, and no matter how much elevator I put on it, it would go up, and then it would just go, go straight down to the ground, kind of in a spiral, but it just couldn't, couldn't glide with a whole penny on it because a penny is about three grams of weight. Uh, these small paper clips are about a third of a gram. So it was just way too much. So this one has one paper clip here and, and a, actually two, two up here and, and a, a one paper clip down here as a hook. And this one the same, the same thing. So there's a total of three paper clips. So I've added about a gram to it. This one, as you can see, is much, much bigger. And I have a bigger paper clip and a penny. And that seems to work pretty, pretty well. So a little over three grams of weight on this one and this one. If this is too light, if it doesn't weigh enough, what's going to happen when it launches is it's just going to kind of tumble in the air, and it's not going to not going to glide that well. If it's too heavy, it's just going to go straight up and then straight down, um, and it's not going to truly glide. This one is bigger, and but I still got away with. I guess I have two pennies. I have two pennies on this one, and a and a paper clip. So again, it's going to depend on the size. And what you'll have to do is just kind of test. Now, I know this is the third one I've made out of one of these trays that is, um, this is a little over eight inches, eight inches wide. And so I know from experience that a penny is about right for, for this glider. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tape a penny on it. What you'll have to do is tape a penny on it and see how it glides, trim it out. And then when you get it to work, um, hook a paper clip to it, or maybe hook a paper clip. You gotta adjust it. You just gotta, you just have to kind of experiment. Okay, so I've taped a penny onto the front underneath, and 
it should it should glide with these these pulled up and you can hand launch it. It's kind of awkward to hold. You can hold it like this, you can hold it like this, but it will it will glide indoors or outdoors pretty well. But it's much better if you can launch it with a with a rubber band launcher. So what we're going to do to get a rubber band launcher is we're going to take a paper clip. And you can use the small ones or a um, a large one. And I'm just going to get the end and I'm going to bend it around bend it around like this. So I don't know if we can see that. Can we see the little little hook that we made in here? We get it like that. So it's kind of like a little a little hook. And I'm going to set it on here. I'm going to get another piece of tape. And I'm going to tape my, my hook. And I'm just going to go right over the over the penny, right in the middle, underneath. And we'll see if we can get this in here. Get a close up. Can we see that hook? There we go. Okay, so there's the there's the, the hook that we're going to hook the rubber band on. So when we launch it, we'll hook our rubber band on, and that will um, that will release. It will it will slip off as it clears the rubber band. Okay, that is pretty much the the glider. Um, again, the the main key is is if it flies well, then you've got the right amount of weight. If it just goes straight down, you want to put in a little bit more elevator here. So I'm I'm pinching this and I'm kind of squeezing it and bending it up. That gives it a little bit of elevator and it will it will give it some lift to curve up. If it wants to turn to one side, so if it keeps turning to this side too much, then this side is going down too much. So what I want to do is put some elevator up here and I just want to kind of pinch this and turn this side up and then that'll push this side down. Okay, so that was if it was turning to the right too much. Um, the other thing that you could do is you could, you could bend this one down a little bit too. So either one of those are going to make it straighten out. And, and this, this foam is pretty resilient. You can just kind of bend it back. Since I haven't test flown it, I don't really want to put that in until I see how it flies. But usually they'll turn one way or another. They won't fly perfectly straight. That's pretty much it. Now we're going to go over making a launcher. And to make a launcher, we need um, a pencil and some rubber bands. Um, we've got a pencil over here. There's a pencil and some rubber bands. Okay. So what I'm going to do to make the, the launcher is I'm going to take a rubber band and I'm just going to lay it over the pencil and I'm just going to pull one side through the other like this. And then I'm going to kind of work it up to the top. And I don't want to have the top of it very high up because then the airplane will crash into here. So I want to scoot this up pretty high, but not so high that it'll slip off. Now that'll give me a rubber band launcher, but that's not very long. I want to get some more length in it. So what I'm going to do is take another rubber band and I'm just going to lay it over here and just pull it through like this and just pull it through. And if I want, I can do a third one. Now you don't want to have too many because if you have it too long and it's longer than you can, than you can stretch, then you're, it's not going to be as tight. You want to be able to pull it back and have it pretty tight. So two or three rubber bands is usually pretty, pretty good. And again, to launch it, I'm just going to hook on like this. I'm looking backwards here at the camera, so it's kind of kind of weird for me. Look in, hook in like this and pull back, and then when you release, it will curve up and pull off of the, the rubber band. Um, that's pretty much pretty much it. We're gonna go outside and see how they how they fly now.